Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Mythlook with your host Nitin Nair. Today we explore another character from Greek mythology, the one that we have started most recently and added into our whole mix of things. Along with Greek mythology, very soon you would be seeing a lot more new mythologies being brought out into the open and we hope you enjoy them the same way that you've been enjoying the others. So without further ado, let's talk about Achilles, the ultimate warrior in Greek mythology. Achilles is one of the most popular characters from Greek mythology and literature who has been immortalized with numerous references in modern culture. The legend of the Trojan War centers on the heroic leader of the Myrmidians who was unbeatable in battle and only the intervention of Apollo ended his reign. During the Trojan War, he is known for killing the Trojan prince Hector. Although his exact execution is not mentioned in the Iliad, other sources claim that Achilles was killed by Paris, who was in fact the brother of Hector. In his later works such as the Achillide, which was written in the 1st century AD, it is believed that he was invulnerable to all of his body forces due to his mother's holding him by one of his heels as an infant. Achilles was the bravest, handsomest and greatest warrior of the army of Agamemnon in the Trojan War. He was also claimed to be perfect in form, physique and motion. Achilles was the son of Peleus, who was the king of Greece, and Thetis, who was a sea nymph. Due to their love, Zeus and Poseidon were rivals for Thetis' hand in marriage. However, learning that Thetis would have a child who would surpass his father, Zeus arranged him to marry a mortal man so that his child could not challenge his power. A different version of the story states that Thetis rejects Zeus' advances and eventually marries Peleus. Achilles' mother, Thetis, abandons her husband and her son to live with the sea nymphs when Achilles is still young. Needing some help raising Achilles, Peleus sends him to be educated by a centaur named Chiron. As a boy, Achilles develops a close relationship with another boy named Patroclus, who joins Achilles' household as an exile having accidentally killed another child. They become friends and possibly lovers. Achilles has been referred to by various names based on the myth or author of that particular piece of work. He has also been bestowed with different names at various stages of his life like Pyrrhus, Achilles, Achis, Amonius, Aspetos, Lariseus, Ligiron, Nereus, Pelides, Tithius, and Podarchus. Achilles was the most powerful warrior in the whole of Greece. He was a master strategist and adept at using almost any weapon in the army's arsenal. Due to the incident where he was dipped into the river Styx by his mother, he was also invulnerable to attacks anywhere on his body apart from his heel. Achilles has been represented as a hero in movies, television shows, and various other modern art forms. The most famous representation in modern times was when Hollywood actor Brad Pitt played the role of the Greek hero in the movie Troy. The term Achilles heel has also been used to refer to someone with a weak point despite an otherwise strong constitution. The important tendon in the human body that connects the foot with the rest of the leg has been named as the Achilles tendon. As you can see, Achilles has played a huge part in modern times with a lot of different stories and different attributes from his past being even used today. One of the most dreaded injuries of any sportsperson is an ACL tear, which definitely is linked to the Achilles because that was his weak spot in the different classics that we know about him as well. As you can see, there are many such warriors with godlike qualities who have been blessed in many different ways by the gods in Greek mythology, which is similar to many of the other mythologies, especially the more eastern ones that we come across. 
stay tuned to Mythlok where we are going to be bringing you a lot more characters from Greek mythology and others as well in the days to come. This is your host Nitin Nair signing out by reminding you once again that Mythlok is the home of mythology.